So back in 2013, I was in Afghanistan. I had a hunt magazine, and I was looking through that magazine, and I seen this gun, and it said Hell or High Water, and there was the Browning A5. I love Browning, number one. Number two, he's coming out of this mud. I looked the advertisement up on YouTube, seen this guy coming out of the mud. It looked like something off the Predator. It's raining, it's muddy, it's water. He comes out holding this gun above his head. And just the whole style, the humpback, everything about it, I loved it. So I knew that I had to get this gun. Well, a year later, I get back from Afghanistan, get settled in at home, and I had an over and under that I didn't really care for. So I traded it in, got some money from that. I had a gift certificate for this gun store, and I pulled the trigger, man. No pun intended, but I went and got that gun, and uh, I threw it up first, obviously, when I was at the gun store. I threw it up to my shoulder, looked down the barrel. It just fit perfect. Trigger pull, everything was right where it needed to be. It was honestly everything I hoped it would be. And so I pulled the trigger, bought the gun, and been using it for basically almost nine seasons now, and it's killed a lot of birds. <laughs> it's done some damage, and I love this gun. And I will tell you this, it has been through it, kind of like that advertisement I first seen. And over time, it's just gotten beaten up and scratched and chipped, stuff started chipping over time. I mean, that's what happens. We were rough on our guns as duck hunters. So I've been thinking about Cerakoting this thing for like two years now, and I finally found the guy. So I seen this guy on Instagram, Austin Daniel, and he owns a company called Acadiana Coat. And I started looking through his work, seeing his post, I'm gonna show you the gun here in just a second. And I was like, this is the guy that's gonna do it. Well, he ended up contacting each other and he said, yeah, I'll do it for sure. And he had done some other stuff for some other people I know and his work is amazing, phenomenal. Really nice guy, he's come on the podcast. So before I show you guys the gun, I wanna say a huge thank you to Austin from Acadiana Coat for doing this gun. Him and his wife did a phenomenal job. And now I'm gonna show you the gun. There she is, boys. She is better than I could have anticipated, honestly. So just, I wanna kinda of start with the top of the gun work down. Um, not all of it's about the Cerakoting, but just the gun in general. It's been a long time since I did the first video of this. But in this gun, I have the Powdermaster Code Black duck, and this thing hits hard. And it's not a advertising gimmick, it's legit. And I also, aftermarket, put the True Glow sight on. Uh, it just brings higher visibility. And the reason I really like it is because it's got a red inside of the green circle. So it just brings better visibility. And shout out to Austin. He literally straightened out. I mean, this thing was bent in just from use. And I, I take care of my gun. I don't drop it. But it was literally bent in on the rib, like on every gap. And he literally got this thing completely straight. You literally can't tell that it was bent in like that. As far as the color goes that we picked, it's a burnt bronze custom mix. And I got something else I'm gonna show you in a second and we'll tell you the colors on that. But I mean, it's so clean. He does such a great job. Also, he put a new spring in for me so the action's way quicker because it's been the same spring since I bought it. Clean that up. One of my favorite parts though, right here. A little laser engraving done with the MVM logo right on the side. It looks so sick. And the reason we picked it there instead of doing it like on the butt of the gun, because when I throw the gun up, if, you know, on video or taking pictures or whatever, it's, it's right there. You can see it. So I just, I thought it was pretty sick. Did a great job. And another thing that he did is he Cerakoted and repainted in the Browning logo right down here. And he just did all that. Just clean this up. I mean, it's, it's like, a, I mean, it's literally like I got a brand new gun. I couldn't have asked for more from him. Then I, I'm a believer, guys. If you never knew that I like heavy shot, which I think you do, 
I even put it on here and we custom engraved it on there on the back of the gun, just a small one. Really like that. And then, bam, Mountain Dew, baby. I wish I had one to crack open right now. But he put that on, that's Cerakoted on there. I thought that was kind of cool right there just because, you know, if we're taking pictures or something and it's, I got my gun like this, people are gonna be like, hey, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Yeah, it's Mountain Dew, baby. So, and then of course we got his logo right here, Acadiana coat. And uh, other than that, honestly, it just feels good to, something that is a tool for me that I use that has been so loyal to me and it's always fired, no misfires, no problems, to just give it a makeover and a facelift and it's like I'm starting all over with this gun again and I know it's gonna give me many years to come. The process that Austin goes through, once he gets your gun, once he takes it out, he cleans it thoroughly, like takes it apart, gets everything cleaned out and then just the whole process of him sandblasting and then actually Cerakoting it. I mean, it's, he don't cut no corners. The guy does amazing clean work, takes his time, has great equipment, the paint booth, everything to do the job properly. So you can check his website out at Acadiana Coat. That's with a K, K-O-T-E dot com. Go in there and check out his work. Instagram to me is probably the best place that you can see his stuff. So clean guys, and he can literally do anything. I mean, he probably doesn't want me saying that, but it's phenomenal the stuff that this guy's done to shotguns, rifles, handguns, all this kind of stuff. So hit him up. His name's Austin Daniel. Go check him out, message him. Tell him that Mid Valley Mercenary sent you, Titus. I thought I would just share with you guys the work that he did and that if you guys want some work, I'm telling you that's the guy to go to. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Am I editing this seriously or are you editing? And it helps shorten the shot stream. And it helps shorten the shot stream. So that you don't know how much I do this kind of stuff. <laughs> and what this does is the stud ring helps shorten the saw. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> don't be videoing on this, son. <laughs> and what that stud ring does is <laughs> shot string. And what the stud ring does is it helps shorten the shot string. <laughs> <laughs> And what this stuttering does is it helps shorten the shot. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm done. I'm going to move on. All right.